Hello guys, this is ATCG. We're here with Chris. You won first place at our locals today. Hello yeah. Chris, how are you? Hi, I'm, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What are you playing today? My favorite deck. Your favorite deck again, huh? Yeah, of Okay, course. let's see. As always, with a little bit spicy. I'm playing Necros, my score was X, X0-0, X0. Uh, the deck is a little bit different than the previous time. I'm playing the Voiceless Voice Engine hmm. today. Very nice. Brand new. Uh, brand new, yes. Brand new from uh, the latest set. So let's start with the deck profile. Uh, I'm running one Trishula and uh, this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Trishula going second, this guy going first. Both, both are searchable with uh, Skull Guardian. They are warriors. Perfect, perfect synergy. Uh, well, I don't have anything else to say. I'm running two Bryonax, two Unicorns. And uh, one closer last, this is a basic uh, Necros engine. Uh, the Necros engine is not that big at all because uh, I'm mainly, mainly focused on uh, voice the voice, the voice uh, engine in order to get my wins. But um, as uh, right now, uh, Necros of Unicorn is a killer, especially uh, against almost uh, every single deck other than uh, uh, Fire Kings. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fire Kings is uh, probably the best deck, but. Necrosol Unicorn is a free win against everything else. Amazing cut. Amazing yes, card, Almost yes. everything. Yes, almost everything. And I'm running only one Saravis, not two, uh, because uh, I didn't have uh, more space, more room for a second Saravis. But mm -hmm. in pure version, of course, you you have to run uh, the second one. I'm not running the, uh, the Pendulum one. Uh, I, I do not like that card. I'm that only sticking with uh, the Sauravis because of uh, mainly for of the special summon uh, negation effect. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also running one uh, Benten. What's the spice with that? Uh, you can either add uh, your um, uh, Divine of the Herald if you don't have a uh, hair in order to, to do the combo or. Uh, law, law is also fair. Law. Law or um, uh, your Christie as well. I'm running Chrissy as well. Let's see. She gave me two wins today, so yep. Uh, and the last uh, Ritual Monsters, uh, of course, two Skull Guardians. Probably the best Ritual Monster ever made. I, I cannot think any, any better than this. Amazing. Omni Negate and uh, 4100 Bidder. Searcher. For the Effect Monster, I'm running one uh, Christian. As I mentioned before, uh, I'm running uh, that because uh, most of the decks struggle against uh, Christia, so more Christian. And for the Voiceless Voice cards, the best Voiceless Voice effect monster was Safira, for my opinion, the best one. Searcher, you can send uh, your Necros card to the graveyard, you can discard your Necros Pyroing later, and uh, then you can uh, recycle as, as well. You can add another one, uh, Ritual Spell, uh, Necros Ritual Spell, if you banish the, for example, Brian and the Necros Ritual Spell, in order to add um, another one Ritual Spell. So she's plus two right away. Mm -hmm. Also three law. Um, nothing else to, to mention about this. And the last uh, Wizard Voice is one Soravis. Very good. Uh, returning back this card to spare someone so Ravis during your opponent's turn. It's always good. It's always good, yeah, of course. One Trias and uh, one Diddy Sprite. My, my personal favorite. One of your favorite cards, yeah? yes? You play it every time. I, I play this card every time, yes. Uh, it's uh, You can play around uh, during lock, but with this one, if you start with the, um, the law on your hand, you can also always uh, go to send the Trias with uh, uh, Diviner of the Herald, Tribute Diviner, Special Summon Diddy Sprite. Uh, these two are level 10, you can go to Baron to play around the... Uh, uh, Amazing. And around Lockbird, he'll give you free win against everything. Especially if the meta is 100% uh, uh, Lockbird in main deck. And of course, the best card uh, of the game best right card. now, yes. Uh, Diviner of the Herald. And for the hand traps, of course. Three Lockbirds and three Agrosso. Everyone played three of each, so... It's all you need. Yeah, nothing to say about. And for the Ritual Spells, of course, we have one Necros Ritual Spell is, and one Voiceless Voice uh, Ritual Spell. Two Voiceless Voice Ritual Spell. I play two because I'm running Creepy Variation of Right. One of each because you can recycle them every time with uh, Sauravis, so are good. And 
I only run two barriers, not three. Uh, I found myself uh, no need no need of third copy, so I decided to to play only two. Uh -huh. It's very good uh, if you run uh, three. I, I think it's not uh, reduce the consistency, but in my opinion, two are perfectly fine, especially in that build. Two preparation right and three preparation right. Turbo searching. Everything. Yes, turbo searching. In the pure version, of course, you're not running preparation right, but in that build, because I'm running Benton and the, the Necros, I'm decided to, to run another two of these. Probably it's gonna get a quarter century or collector rare in the upcoming uh, reality collection. So, so confirmed. Yes. And one Radiance. Yes. And um, let's see the extra deck first. We have uh, for the side deck one uh, Anima and one Link Rebo. Yeah. Uh, low target. One cross ship. I'd run a cross ship in order to have an extra draw in case of uh, a serious issue with my opening hand. I never summon today because I, the deck is super consistent. So probably I'm gonna exchange it with the light, uh, uh, the light uh, charmer. I didn't play the light charmer today. Uh -huh. I thought it was not necessary, but uh, cross ship is not good. So. One Dark Charmer. One Espiritual Knight. Everyone plays Espiritual Knight. I play Espiritual Knight because she's good. <laughs> One Mascarena. Yeah. The best uh, extra deck card for any ritual deck, Dynamondo. Twice. Have you ever used two of them in the same duel? Uh, in the three matches, yes. Okay. Twice. In the three matches, yes. And uh, for the Diviner of the Hero targets, 20 SS and two Herald of the Arc Light. Two and two, okay. Two and two, yeah. You can also always uh, use this card with uh, uh, Kaleidoscope with Necros of Unicorn, so that there is a Two of it. Makes sense. We have uh, one Angel and one Baron de Flame. It's um, basically both of them are one card. It's yeah? Yes, it's one card, uh, card and of course the last uh, card is one Abolusa. I don't know why I left Abolusa uh, after the Link Monsters. Uh, one or so, one Abolusa. And for the side deck. Show sure, the side. Yes, of course. Soul release. This kills Fire Kings. <laughs> Fire King, yes. Give you free win. Especially if you open with this, it's a free win. Uh, and uh, yes, I do play uh, three Cosmic Light Cyclops and uh, one Free the Duster in order to. Uh, because I'm, for the to, runic to be, matchup, for the to be honest, I, I have a terrible matchup against uh, every deck that run a lot of floodgates, so I decided to play um, three and one because uh, I prefer to be safe than uh, sorry. So, and also one uh, Kubo by the Grave, as I mentioned before. And uh, of course, for the Trap cards, I do play three Evenly, three evenly Match and one Impermanence. I only run one Impermanence because I had 14 card uh, side deck. It's uh, an extra space, an extra card because I had the space. And of course, three, nip. three rocks, three imp, because I do like three imp. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, any shout outs before we close up the video? Oh, I would like to shout out uh, the tournament hosting, Pokemon uh, CY. It was a great tournament. I would like to shout out everyone, especially Akis, uh, who told me to include Christy and Benton uh, in the deck a few minutes before uh, the tournament beginning. So they gave me like uh, two wins, I guess. Two wins, yes, two matches. They gave me two matches. Um, and the the final game as well. Mm -hmm. So I I think uh, the Necros build is uh, it's uh, spicy. At it's least. spicy, <laughs> and because most of the people are not uh, familiar with uh, the Necros engine, it gives you some free wins in at least local level. I will try this build for the upcoming tournament. I will see how it will go, and if it's good, I'm gonna stick with it until the the next YCS probably. Perfect. Thank you very much, Chris. ATCG out. Thank you very much.